Want a big chest? Here's the five mistakes to avoid. The first mistake on our list is gonna be not retracting your scapula. So when you're in the gym and you're hitting bench press, what are we trying to work on? Well, on International Chest Day, which takes place every Monday, you'll see most guys are working on their ego, and they're not doing a very good job of it. Why? Because they're not focusing on the muscle group that bench press is best for. And what one is that? Anyone? Bueller? You. Yeah, that's right. We're working on chest. And in order to properly work the chest on exercises such as bench press, you want to retract and depress your scapula. In doing so, it's going to help with shoulder stabilization, it's going to help with bar control, proper range of motion, and you're going to be focusing on that body part that so many men desperately want. That's the chest. So remember to retract and depress that scapula. Mistake number two on our list is going to be flaring your elbows. Flaring your elbows puts unnecessary strain on your elbows and shoulders. What you want to do is bring the bar more towards your sternum as opposed to your collarbone. So as you can see from this angle, you want to have your elbows at a 45 degree angle to your body. Bring it down to that sternum, slow and controlled back up to top position. This one is an easy one to remember, but one that you'll see a lot of people performing wrong. So remember, don't flare those elbows. Stay healthy, stay happy, and most importantly, stay buff. Mistake number three on our list is gonna be forgetting the negative. Now on our channel, Buff Dudes, me and Brandon try to stay as positive as we can. We try to really motivate to the best of our abilities, but this time, we're busting out typo negative, nine inch nails, and we're getting into that negative mindset. You know why? Because when performing chest exercises, such as bench press, you need to remember to stay negative. And by that, I mean you can't forget the eccentric portion of the lift. You'll see a lot of guys bounce that bar off their chest. All they do is care about the weight they're putting up. They don't care how they get it back up. They just wanna be able to say, hey, I benched 405 today. So what you wanna do is along with the concentric contraction, you wanna focus on the eccentric, really squeeze that chest. It's that mind-muscle connection. Extra credit if you're listening with a downward spiral while performing the exercise. I love you, Tran. Mistake number four is gonna be focusing on glory days. Do you still have those goth records playing? Well, it might be time to turn them off because now we don't want to get in a negative mindset. It's so easy to reflect on the past, whether that be in high school, college, you look back and go, damn, I used to bust out 405, no problem. Now it's the strangest to do 225. You start to think back, you start to think about that old girlfriend, the old job. Now you're nothing. You're a fucking loser. And you can't even finish 315? <laughs> fucking pussy. But no, stop with the negative mindset. You have to be positive. You have to think to yourself, I am a buff dude. I was built for this. My mom and dad, when they had sexual intercourse, their main goal was to create a machine, something that could go in the gym and just destroy everything in its path. And that's what you have to think every time you step in there. You might not be benching 405 at this very moment, but God damn it, with work, consistency, and the proper drive, you'll be back there in no time. Wearing that letterman's jacket and fucking the prom queen. Last on our list is gonna be no goals. So you're consistent, you're showing up to the gym, that's great, but each time you get there, you shuffle around, you maybe look to do some flies, bench press, you really have nothing in mind. You're just happy that you're in there and you're getting it done. But the problem with this is you're really not gonna make any advancements. And that's what we're all about. You wanna be a bigger, better version of yourself. So try to find a training partner. And if that's not available, just get a killer motivational playlist going, find a solid workout plan, set some goals for yourself and achieve those goals. And hey, you know what? When you get to those goals, set some more. And in no time, you're gonna be the biggest, baddest buff dude the world has ever seen. Yeah, so go forth and become buff by setting those goals. All right, there we go, dudes and girls. Five chest mistakes which may be holding you back from building a bigger chest. Try these out, they're really easy tweaks, but they can really help quite a bit. So suggest in the comments below what you wanna see next in our mistake series. And until next time, as we always say, stay buff.